Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to the How to Write a Book podcast. Y'all, all right. Today is November 23rd, and I am so happy to be here with you all and to be uh, facing that writing and facing that blank page because, y'all, we can do this. Um, an update on my own book. So, oh gosh, y'all, I love dictation so much. If you need help with dictation, if you're super interested in it, please feel free to contact me. I would be happy to coach you through dictation. It has been a game changer for me. Um, the other day I wrote 7,000 brand new words, um, like within an hour. And then I edited like 12,000 words within three hours because my editing is always slower than my actual creative writing. Um, and it was so much fun. (laughs) So much fun, y'all. So, um, and that's the point where it's supposed to be fun so we can do this for the long haul all right so today's like toxic thought or writer's block is you know what if I get rejected um or the person who I want to like this book criticizes it uh, that's a great point because, you know, we're all striving for a goal and we're all striving to possibly meet traditional publication or we want to do self-publishing and we have an ideal reader in mind, or perhaps we are trying to submit to a magazine and we want to, you know, have that validation through them as well. Um, whatever your goal is, uh, it's totally valid to have these thoughts where you think like, okay, I'm, I'm striving for this goal, but what if like it doesn't work out? You know, what if I actually show up I do all this work. I put in these hours. You know, I dedicate, you know, chunks of my life to this and I end up not reaching the goal that I want. Oh yeah, I've, I've really struggled with this, especially this year, because if y'all know, um, I signed up for the self-publishing challenge with uh, Dean Wesley Smith. Um, it's to publish every month. You have to publish at least 20,000 words every month. Um, and one of the things I struggled with was like reaching my goal, you know, trying to understand, do I even want my goal? Because as you struggle, you start to question yourself and you start to bring doubt into the situation. Um, and that can really throw you for a loop. And especially, you know, as writers, I think we are very intuitive. Um, and so we can kind of get really hard on ourselves because any flag that pops into the air, we might suddenly consider as a flag that we should stop. And I think that happens quite often. And that's how writers do end up stopping. Uh, But the important thing is, is to put a hold on that flag and then still say, my goal is to reach the end of this book. My goal is not some external factor. So if you have this fear of criticism um, or rejection, you know, one of the best things that I can recommend, and this might actually be difficult to kind of swallow is to face that fear. And now you might be thinking like, what? Like you want me to like pitch to traditional agents and then, and then get rejected. Or like, you want me to like, you know, try to launch to my ideal reader and then, you know, get just like negative feedback and critiques and things like that. So yes and no, do your best. Yeah. Do show up for yourself. Do show up for your writing and give it your best, but also create that plan and actually physically write this out. You know, tell yourself, you know, dear writer, I am going to be doing this traditional publishing route. I am going to be submitting on this day. And no matter what the outcome is, you know, I'm still going to be a writer. I'm still going to honor and love myself. I'm still going to admire the work that I do and keep writing. And also, if you can create other backups, like For example, if you're going to show up that day and you're going to email a couple of traditional publishers um, and it makes you feel queasy and like really scared, you know, also reward yourself at the end of that. Um, Maybe make that cup of hot cocoa or um, have that Netflix show ready at the end of your day so you can reward yourself with something that feels good because it's really hard and uncomfortable to face things that will offer rejection. Um, But rejection doesn't mean that you're a failure and rejection doesn't mean that you are bad. Uh, One of the things I think we struggle with as writers is that we tend to tie in our own value from our books. And that's actually a chapter I have in my latest book, which is how to write a book or how to write my first book. And I talk about that. It's discerning your value from your book. So be careful how you tie your own value with your work. Try to face that moment of rejection. You might not actually get rejected, but go ahead and face that. You know, try to 
be courageous. Try to show up. And remember that being courageous is not that absence of fear, but it's doing that which scares you, you know, so that you're going to face it anyways. You are afraid, but you're going to face it anyways. And honestly, that's going to make for really great writing and also change you as a writer because, you know, if you go through a couple of rounds of rejection, you will begin to feel the thickness of your own skin and also rise to more writing challenges. You know, perhaps your own sense of bravery will lead you to a different publisher or it might lead you to different types of publication or perhaps you will try to do it in a brand new way. Like maybe you'll create an audiobook or a podcast out of it. You know, the possibilities are endless. So your assignment is to create a backup plan emotionally. Tell yourself what you would do once you face that rejection. And I encourage you to follow up with those places of rejection and face them head on. But then also remember that your value is not tied to your work. So no matter what the end result is, you are still valued as a person. You have still been designed by the universe to be here. So you are valuable no matter what happens to your book or the results are. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode and keep writing. Hey there, writer. Thank you for listening to the How to Write a Book podcast with your host, Maciel Valenzuela. If you like the show, we'd be happy if you left a review. For more information on writing and the writer's life, go to www.themaciel.com. That's www.themaciel.com. We'll see you on the other side.